All right, so I just listened to the new Young Gravy album, Sensational, and uh, I've been kind of digging it so far. It's nothing new for Gravy. I mean, he's mostly sticking to what he's good at, sticking to his comfort zone, flipping a lot of older soul samples into trap beats, delivering a somewhat simple yet effective flow with his very smooth and silky voice. Always bragging about, uh being with your mom because he looks like your dad. <laughs> there are a couple times where he tries to sing, which I really don't think is his strong suit at all. Especially on songs like Buttered Up and Magic. However, I will say there are a couple songs that really surprised me on here, especially the surprise posse cut on here, The Boys Are Back In Town. Like, so much happens within that two and a half minute runtime that I'm like completely shocked that anyone was able to conceive this. Easily a front runner for one of my favorite songs off this record so far. But yeah, I'm kind of enjoying this so far. I'll give it a few more listens to see if it really clicks with me, but until then, we'll see what happens. I know I'm eating green beans out of a can, fuck you. Anyways, I've given the Gravy album a few more listens over the past couple of hours, and uh, it kind of just sank into the background for me. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing in some respects, but considering how much Gravy's voice has stuck out to me over his other viral singles such as Mr. Clean and Splash Mountain, I honestly feel kind of worried about how I will envision this album with any more listens. And it's not like he's saying something amazing on this record either, mostly it's just a bunch of flexing. Sure, Gravy has the timbre to pull off the flexing in a very interesting and almost comedic sort of way, but at the same time, it just feels recycled at this point. I mean, sure, he definitely has interesting ways of rephrasing everything. In addition, his chemistry with the collaborators on this project is impeccably well, again, pointing to the boys are back in town. But then again, I don't really think there's much to be presented with this project. I mean, it definitely knows its limits. It has a very short runtime at only 32 minutes. I don't know, I kind of feel conflicted about it. I want to like this record, but I'm not really sure if Gravy's giving me a lot to work with. I'll give it a few more listens and see what I can manage from that. All right, so I gave Sensational another listen and I don't know, it's just fading on me so hard. Like the more that I listen to this record, the more that everything just doesn't really seem to click all that much. And that's especially the case with uh, Young Gravy's flows, which for some reason just becomes so stale after a long time. In addition, I'm beginning to notice some of the mixing is becoming a bit of a problem. Specifically on Gravy Train, where you can barely make out Gravy's vocals over the sample that they included. In addition, the upbeat on Alley Oop just almost feels like it's not there. In addition, the chorus on Buttered Up is just getting on my nerves so much. It feels like Young Gravy is just screeching this chorus as loud as he possibly can. That's not to say I haven't found any new things I haven't liked about this record. For instance, Pizzazz is becoming a huge favorite of mine. It just feels so relaxed and I don't know, there's something about the chorus that feels so infectious to me. In addition, the religious symbolism on Gravy for Pope, while it's not much, it's certainly a different turn of phrase for Gravy at least. However, the more that I listen to this record, the more that I just can't see past the flaws that are presented. I'll give Sensational a few more listens before I give my final verdict though. Alright, so final thoughts on this Young Gravy album, it's okay. It definitely has its standout moments, I'll give it that. But then again, it also has its moments where I feel like Gravy's just retreading the same ground that he always has. And it's not like it's a bad thing for him to keep doing this, it's a very niche sort of market and I feel like he's cornering it very well. But at the same time, it also feels like Gravy is turning into somewhat of a one-trick pony. Like, I know the production on this record is pretty interesting considering the amount of old soul samples that are flipped, as well as some of the very vintage and nostalgic sounds that are often used throughout this record, even on the more trap-leaning instrumentals. But at the same time, it feels like Gravy himself is just retreading the same thing that he always does. 
You know, he's always saying stuff about how he's taking your bitch and how he's going to fuck your mom, basically. <laughs> Not to say that he doesn't come across as funny at times, but the thing is, I feel like Gravy focuses more in his mimetic role rather than he does as a legitimate songwriter. Again, that's not a bad thing because he has a very niche role within the current trap community, but at the same time, I wish he could do a lot more with it. Now, if you come over here, you can see some of my favorite and least favorite tracks on this record. As you can see, most of Sensational is between the good and meh tier, but I feel like most of the meh just almost borders within bad. Especially most of the songs in the latter half of this record, like Whip a Tesla and Gravy Train and Richard Simmons, they just feel so retreaded. In addition, Alley Oop has soured on me entirely, especially with the spoken word bit near the end of uh, Gravy's last verse. But then again, Buttered Up and E.T. have always sort of not been that well suited for me. On the other side of the coin, The Boys Are Back in Town still remains possibly one of my favorite songs of all time. Bitch, I'm dead fresh, I might pull up in a casket will remain one of the most infamous lines to ever start a song, honestly. In addition, I really like One Thought, Two Thought, Red Thought, Blue Thought, but at the same time, I really wish this record ended on pizzazz because I feel like it's such a good slow burner to just ease you out of this experience. Overall, this record's okay. It's kind of what you expected from Gravy. It also had some highlights in it, which I will definitely remember for years to come, but Damn it, I wish this stuck out more than it did. I feel like giving this record a 6 out of 10. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Comment how you feel about this record and let me know what I should review next.